this God? Or is that me? Or is it the end? second-guessing yourself when you're not sure and you're going like well is this something I suppose well I'm telling you right now one thing you should know is that you can go before God in prayer and you can just ask him you know just talk to him directly hey is this you pray so let's pray father in the name of Jesus thank you for this study Lord I pray that you guide us into all truth in Jesus' name, amen. So let's go to the scripture. And this is one that I like. It's Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. So don't worry. Let's camp right there for a minute. Don't worry. Worry is negative meditation. Worry is going back and forward with doubt, unbelief. You know, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but He's given us a spirit of power love and a sound mind okay so if it's fear being afraid we need to bring that into obedience to Christ so don't worry why why shouldn't we worry because God is saying I am with you don't worry because I am with you and don't be afraid don't be afraid. He's saying, don't be afraid. You know how many times the Bible says for us, fear not. Don't be afraid. Many. So, don't be afraid because I am your God. That's what the Lord says. I am your God. So, don't worry. Don't be afraid because I am your God. Woo, praise you, Jesus. And I will make you strong. Strong. I will make you strong. Ooh, bless the Lord. I will make you strong. Strong. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's what we need to meditate on. Say that. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So he's saying, I will make you strong. And I will help you. The Lord is our help. Thank you, Jesus. He's saying, I will help you. And I will support you. And I will hold you up with my right hand that saves you. So, if you're guessing, second-guessing yourself, if you're wondering whether or not this is God, you should just put that in at the feet of Jesus. Go before God in prayer, asking him, point blank and period. Father, is this you? Ask yourself, is this going to bring him glory? Is this why I'm created? The Bible says that everything, all of creation was created to do what? Praise God. Will this praise God? Will this bring God glory? Will this, whatever it is, bring God glory? Okay? Hmm. Will it bring God glory? Is it why you were created? God says to acknowledge Him in all of our ways and we'll have good success. Acknowledge Him in all of our ways and we will have good success. Now that's a promise. That's a promise from God. Okay, now remember this. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. God is not a God of confusion, but of God of peace. If it's confusion, it's not God. If it's confusion, it is not God. God is not the author of confusion. If you don't have peace, if it's not according to God's will, you won't have peace in it. If it doesn't 
go along with what God says in bringing him glory and is what he said, you won't have peace in it. So, God is not confusion. He's not going to go against what he said. He's not going to go against creation. He's not going to go against what he said. If he created it to bring him glory, then, okay, it's going to bring him glory. Okay? And he's not going to change from that. One thing I love about God, he never changes. God never changes. He's always the same. So you can be assured that he is always stable and solid. Okay, and he's a solid foundation, so he's not going to change from what he has said. And that brings us peace because, you know, he's not going all around, up and down like a roller coaster and in and, and, and emotions. He's always good all the time. Okay, and he's not confusion. So, that's what we have to remember. So 1 Peter 2, 6 says, the scripture says, I will put a stone in the ground in Jerusalem. Everything will be built on this important and precious rock. Anyone who trusts in him will never be disappointed. Anyone who trusts in the Lord Jesus Christ will never be disappointed. He's a solid foundation that we are secure on. God has given us his son, Jesus Christ, God who manifests in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto Gentiles, believed on in the world, and was received up in glory. God has purchased us with his own blood. God became a human being to redeem us, to reconcile us, to be a propitiation for our sins, to be a substitute for our sins, to die on that cross for our sins, and on the third day, to raise him up so that we can have his life, which is glory to Father God. And that is a solid foundation that we can stand securely on, knowing that if we're walking according to his Holy Spirit, then that is going to bring God glory. And that's also, also going to bring you success because the Bible says to acknowledge him in all of our ways and we should we shall have good success. Hallelujah. Isaiah 50 and 7 says, The Lord God helps me, so I will not be ashamed. I will be determined and I know I will not be disgraced. Okay. So, walking according to the Spirit of God, walking according to the Word of God, God, to God be the glory, acknowledging Him in all of our ways, you won't be ashamed because God says in His Word, put your trust in the Lord and you will not be ashamed. He said, those who put their trust in me shall not be ashamed, regardless of what people think, regardless of how they may say this and that. Keep watching because at the end of the day, in the rising of the sun, God is going to get the glory out of that story. Keep watching because Christ in us is the hope of glory and God is the Alpha and Omega. And so God is going to get the glory out of the situation. You just keep watching because it's for his glory, it's for his will in the earth. Oh, yes, in the earth, God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So that divine appointment, that divine instruction, that divine will and purpose for his glory, acknowledging him in all of your ways, you will not be ashamed. You will not be disgraced. And God will get the glory. So keep watching. Keep going. Keep pressing on. And if it's for God's will, oh, and God said it, oh, you will see manifestation of what he has said because he doesn't lie and he is trustworthy and he is a solid foundation. Psalms 106 and 3 says, happy are those who do right, who do what is fair at all times. 
God is always doing what's right. God is so fair. God is so perfect. And you can be assured that what he said is true. So if you're doubting yourself, take the focus off of yourself and put it on to God. And if God gave you that assignment, if God gave you that assignment, it shall not return void. It shall accomplish that which it is sent for to do because that's what God's word. God's word accomplishes what he has sent it out to do. Just keep, keep pressing on. And remember this, Luke chapter 6 verse 31, do to others what you would want them to do to you. Do unto others what you will want them to do to you. What you would desire for someone to do to you, you do it. Okay? You do it. The Bible says if you want friends, show yourself friendly. And that is pretty much the, the seed time and harvest. Showing what you desire and you will also receive what good that you give out will come back to you. So, God is good and faithful. Those uh, Psalms 119 and 165. Those who love your teaching will find true peace and nothing will defeat them. Whoo, hallelujah. Those who love God's word will find true peace. There's a peace that only comes from being in the will of God. If it's against the will of God, then there's no peace. There's no peace in it. There's no peace in it. But with God, you can rest assured that it's God's will. And if it's God's will, you will certainly see and receive peace and see a manifestation of what you were created for is to bring God glory, to praise and worship Him. That's what everything was created for, to give God glory and to worship Him. So, in spirit and truth, we worship God by the Spirit of Christ that's poured in our heart, the Holy Spirit that bear witness with our spirit that we're children of God, the Holy Spirit that's been poured in our heart as the Son of God to call Him Abba Father, Galatians 4 and 6. That brings us peace. And that is without confusion. And that will also have manifestation of glory in your life without being disgraced or ashamed. You cannot be disgraced or ashamed of lifting up the name of Jesus, Yeshua. You won't be ashamed for telling others by the Spirit of Christ that Jesus is Lord and that God loves them with an everlasting love. Yeah, that is true. So... Acknowledge God in all your ways, and you will have good success. I pray that this lesson has been a blessing to you. Remember, praying is talking to God, going before Him, asking Him into your heart, asking Him into your life. The Bible says that He has given us the Spirit of His Son in our heart, that we're able to call Him Abba. Asking Him in your life, receiving Him, and also... If you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you do. Hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you will be notified for future videos. And I will see you in the next video. Blessings. In the next videos, remember Jesus loves you and God so loved the world that he gave. He gave his only begotten son, y'all. That whoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life life. Now that's love. I'll see you next time in the next video. And again, blessings.